Hello fellas, uh, in this video I'm creating a transparent header. Uh, I'm using uh, Elementor Pro Page Builder and Astra Team for a client. This is the default header you can create, uh, you can uh, bring some changes using Team Customizer, but with this Team Customizer uh, you don't have a lot of uh, flexibility to create your ideal header. You just click on Team Customizer, go to Header and bring some changes. Go to Header Builder and from here you can add uh, some elements and you can bring some changes but it is limited. Uh, what we are doing here is we are using the Elementor Team Builder to create a custom transparent header. Go to your dashboard, go to Templates and click team builder make sure you have already installed elementor and elementor pro uh, okay so let's create the new team builder let's go to header and we don't have any header now let's create a new one all right uh, here we have uh, many pre-built uh, headers but we are not using them we will create our own header uh, let's create a section with uh, two columns one for the logo another one for the menu You can add as many columns as you want the best on your needs. However, here we need only two uh, Okay, I click here For the menu I can say just uh, for the logo actually 20% as enough and another 80% for the menu and the vertical align should be in the middle centers with this one the vertical align should be in the middle now let's add the elements you can add site logo but I'm using the image element with the image element we are having more flexibilities now it, let's add our logo I have the PNG logo here uh, let's insert okay the logo is added it should be in full size on the left side and the style and stuff, the weight, you can specify from here. All right, and on the right side, we are adding our site menu. This is the menu we have already created. It should be on the left side, on the right side, actually. And uh, yeah, for the mobile drop down, later we will edit for the mobile. It should be full wide and it should be in the center and the hamburger style uh, okay i go to style i change the font my favorite font is georgia and the rest everything is okay and the color uh, since our website uh, will have the, a little bit dark background so the color i change it to white Maybe. yes okay and uh, I think it's okay so let's publish and add condition to the entire site save and close okay now let's go to our front end and see how our uh, header is looking I have already created a bulk page let me see how it's looking here uh, all right we have the header but still is not transparent what you need to do is go to the section that is box and you can specify the minimum height to 100 pixel or 90 pixel is okay middle in the top all right and let's give uh, So the height of the section is 90 and we can give a minus 90 uh, minus 90 pixel at the bottom so the content will be pulling up uh, 90 pixel mm, all right and uh, yeah this is specify the z index since we have several layers several sections on top of each other 
uh, the section with higher Z index will be on the top and update now let's go and see what we have here mm, yeah great we have a transparent header but uh, you can bring more changes for example when we scroll down uh, the background should be changing you can add a little bit uh, background overlay on the menu and header and any changes you want you can bring it uh, okay so I have a little bit margin here. Let's unlink and make sure that we don't have any padding, any margin, uh, any unnecessary margin and paddings. Yeah, I think now it is okay. Uh, Alright, um, you can bring the changes, uh, the weight and height uh, for each element. You can select and you can bring all the changes from here with uh, options. But for this section, I'm using the CSS code. You can write your CSS code here. I was just crawling on the internet and uh, I found this. Where was it? Yeah, transparent is sticky header. So internet is full of data and full of information. You can just use the data and the codes which are already ready there. Of course, you can write your own CSS code. I just uh, Copy this code and I've made some changes and now I'm going to use this code. This is the code that if you follow line by line, you can understand what is it saying. It gives the background color uh, for the header, the RGB color 00, and this is a transparency, uh, zero point, I mean 60% transparent the header should be, and then the transition there will be a transition when you're sc uh, scrolling down in the period of one second so it will be slowly and the, trans uh, the transition will happen in one second not abruptly not so fast and uh, we have the another uh, effect which is which decrease the size of the header from 90 to 70 pixel by default that is 90 pixel and you can follow line by line and this is about the logo yeah just you can write your own code or you can just copy this one and let's paste it here all right we have added the code and uh, so for the logo this is the class id you need to give it to the logo put at one setting the logo and great and we change the color a little bit now for the mobile version okay now let's go and see when we scroll down you can see these uh, changes and the header shrink it's really cool now for the mobile let's go and see okay for the mobile this one uh, make it 50 50 percent and this one also should be uh, the menu column should be 50 50% uh, and in the middle in the middle okay and the colors go to style and change the color and stuff this is the toggle menu and this is the color and the background color all right from here you can uh, do some other changes for example the mobile drop down it should be full weight i'm saying it should be full weight it should be in the center or maybe a side no center is okay and it should be hamburger that is the toggle button and on the left cool so now we create a very cool and nice transparent header for our website now let's go to our front end and see Okay, let's go to about page, the page which we have uh, designed already. When I scroll down, yeah, it's it's really really cool. And for the mobile version, that is great. That is great. All right, thank you very much. Uh, comment below if there is any issue and thumbs up. And of course, subscribe for more. And uh, have a good time.